Well, hello there, everyone. This is your hand spirit, Messiah Blue X here, and welcome back to Vampire. So let's not waste any more time. Well, actually, scratch that. We, I just level grinded off screen. So right now he's level six, as you can already tell. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Oh, a scythe. Oh, this one does more damage. Ninety nine damage. Are there any treasures? No. All right, well, let's just move on. This place reeks of bloodshed. William, my arm. I can't feel it. Oh dear god. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Already a boss fight. Come on, buddy. Oh, shit. You're finally dead. More experience for me. William, please stop. Let me just grab everything. I cannot enter. Not from the other side, of course. Where'd that voice even come from? William, there you are. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? I knew him well. Another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am. I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my Oh block shit, you better watch me. out. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Ooh, 
she's a vampire herself. By George and the Saint, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Oh, it's you again. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the torch. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please. I almost tend to my fold. My flock needs me. Beth, go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just yeah, need will do. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Can I analyze? Nope. Might as well. Hmm. Okay. It's locked. Locked from the inside, what the fuck? Well, I obviously can't go there right now. Pity. Might as well get on, I guess. At dawn we roll. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that scowl. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No, oh, you your name is Dr. Dr. Reed. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some Jonathan caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Mm -hmm. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word, again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. And for that, you are right. Is this our stop? Well, 
Then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed, and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. A priest and a vampire. Working together. I never thought to use these two sen Should never share the same sentence. <laughs> Again, I'm not that religious. Don't get me wrong. Thank goodness, I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Crane. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining Ooh. us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusion. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Trusting a vampire <sighs> in charge of a blood transfusion. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship didn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. I'm coming, Nurse Crane! I'm coming! Ooh, Jack in that sweet suit. A mission update. Enter the Primbrook Hospital. Well, now I know where I'm headed. Are you serious? Uh. What the fuck just happened? Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't know this? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain. We got to spill it out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Blood quality.
life and death. Okay, the shadows. So this is mind control. Well, apparently I can't go there. I guess I better go follow the... Serious. God damn it. I guess I better it's level up. Right. No shit. All right, let's just enter the hospital. I cannot enter. Oh my god. Good evening. I better go talk to I'm him for a sec. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Your life in London. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear, or at least have respect, for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. Blood quality. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Why watch the Why bodies? Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Why close okay. the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. 
a hint required. Oh. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short, and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes, but the good news is we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. A pawnbroker? I expect to get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. But I sell all kind of goods. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic, even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember? And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. Hmm. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade, I exchange. Some people sell, some others buy. I like to help. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think oh, so. Oh, God. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. So you're ready to die? No, I am not. I don't fear death, for I won't see it. What troubles me is the pain my death will inflict to those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chidana. No, Dr. Reed. I am a foolish man. But I like to think otherwise. All right, let's just Please trade. show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Oh, we have plenty of money. Now we have some experience. Oh, what is this? It's locked. Of course. Shirlings. Oh, sh <laughs> Well, that's just plain retarded. Nope. Need to evolve. Small bag of junk and a screw. It's locked, all right. I managed to arrange to have you buried in the 
same man's grave as your wife. I hope that might happen. Okay, well, I better get into the hospital right now. And I just killed a man just to get experience. What is this? I cannot enter. Five shirlings, okay, and a watch. That's interesting. Oh crap, I need to get to the hospital. Like, immediately. Fucking hell. It's locked, alright. God fucking damn it. I really need to get to the hospital, like, right now. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, Doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Hmm. I would like to ask a few questions first. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Ah. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Oh, I see a treasure, I see. Glass vial. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Let's go talk to this chick. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard Syndrome, Miss Hercule? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotta. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, 
a ghost or a ghoul. Or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Hope? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. Hmm. I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me. For I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Wrong target, new investigation. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Okay, that's enough of that crazy loon. And door and Miss Crane said our office is in the second floor. Not now. I cannot enter. If only I knew where is my uh, my new office. Read. Yep, this must that's be our place. office. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. What is this? Wow, I gained new experience. And I barely had enough. Shit. Um, right now, my common scythe is level 2. Nice. Now my scythe is a level 3 now. 
Holy Beerus. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutations. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time. Let me upgrade my scythe a bit more. Or not. Might as well level up before I confirm. A control. But my HP is lacking. As for Tatnickel, I'll worry about Tatnickel after I level up a few things. I want to do HP, but... Spend points for fast regeneration. Hard biting. Costs three hundred damage, but it costs six hundred blood. I know, I'll just raise my defense if I can if I could blood barrier hmm might as well have syringe Increase my blood capa capacity? Sure, why not? And now I'm level 7. Neat. Big first. Might as well absorb that. So right now I'm level 7. It costs a thousand, Jesus. Might as well confirm. Because why not? What is this? from that soul. To learn to hide my true nature. Enter the door. Mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Yeah, that might be a problem. Oh shit. Well, I guess I have to end this video right here. I hope you enjoy this rather interesting let's play of mine. If you're new, subscribe. If you like it, Cinetar slash the like button and hit the notification bell. As always, have a kind day so Blue X is getting distortion world out of here. And I'll see you guys real soon. Alright, take care guys.